Hey everyone, I'm Marty. This is Scrap Mechanic. Welcome back. It's been a while. Over 100 hours of playtime passed since the last episode. A lot has changed. I've moved out of the Mechanics Chapel. Actually, I've moved up on the roof of the Mechanics Chapel. Let me craft another craft bot, because one craft bot is not enough anymore. Come here! In the previous episode, I've constructed early versions of Cargo Elevator and Hot Rod, which for some reason I was calling Dragster, but I meant Hot Rod. It's Hot Rod, not Dragster. So let me show you final products of the previous episode. First, the Cargo Elevator, which is up there. Let me bring it down. It's fully functional. It's strong, it's stable. And it looks nice. The gates, when opened, create ramps for all the cars, vehicles, and me carrying things in and out. So let's go up. I was thinking of making the gates, the, the elevator gates, automatic, but no, I prefer it manual. So it stays like this. Like I said, the, the elevator is stable, my character is twitching a little, but I can walk around while it's moving. And again, the gate creates ramp because of this thick cable below. Come with me. So this is my base, I will show you everything in a minute. There, now you can talk with each other. Hot Rod, not Dragster, Hot Rod. It's finished, it's done, it's painted. I went with black and red and a little touch of white here and there. So let me get the car out on the street so I can show it off. The car is quite aggressive, I must say, but it's good. Yes. So let me park it. First thing I fixed is the front suspension. It looked like this. The suspension part was upside down and it didn't work. And thanks again for letting me know that in the comments. Now it's fixed and it works as it should. The only difference now is that the pistons pull the car up to lift it. This suspension piston pushed the wheel down. And this is how the rear suspension is built and nothing's changed here. The pistons push the wheel down, so it's dynamic. And here I had to hook the pistons to the controller and upgrade the controller fully to make it work just like the rear suspension, dynamic. But now it's all good. It looks and feels great. Next thing, is the roof, which I don't really feel about. I mean, I want the roof and it has to open because there's no catapult glitch anymore, by the way. So I'm just glitching inside the glass and I, yeah. So the roof has to be there because I want it and it has to open. But something is wrong here. I don't know, it's some, I don't like it, but let it stay. And the doors, the doors also hooked up to, the, to one of the controllers here. And the controller is upgraded fully, so the doors closing and opening fast, because it was so slow, uh, so I had to upgrade it. The engine section, I cannot call it really like hood <laughs> it's just engine section but it opens let me aim right and we have the engine and all the controllers logic gates the engine is upgraded maybe too much because i don't need that much power but it sounds awesome the car is aggressive like i said here on the other side fuel tank and small chest so I can store my makeup tools, joking. On the back of the car, I've installed large chest with vacuum pump attached to it 
and it opens like that and it does ridiculous spin and the pump is to shoot out fruits and veggies to the packaging station input or it can suck the water in from the lake nearby for my humble irrigation system which I will talk about in a minute. Other than that, headlights, tail lights working and let me take you for a ride. The car can easily flip over but when I lower the rear suspension it gets stable and I can drift even and overall the car is fast it looks super cool I like it it makes me happy okay let's go to Gordon Farmer place now check this out if this looks like GLaDOS this must be Gordon Farmer and this is how I call him I've got me a spot gun as you can see it shoots well it can snipe and it's just game changer you know fighting bots defending my field is so much easier now obviously to get spot gun i needed two packs of oranges and two packs of blueberries and one trapped farmer i saved one trapped farmer in the previous episode or one of the previous episodes and to get orange seeds and blueberry seeds i need three packs of tomatoes and three packs of red beets so i got it and you know that we get more seeds when we harvest we get more seeds than we planted so you know snowball effect and this is how i got two packs of oranges 20 oranges 20 blueberries then i went to the packaging station i packed it and this is basically how i got spot gun easy let's go back to the base normally here i would just flip over but with the lower suspension it's all good you know cargo elevator is cool and all but it's slow so for fast travel i use this elevator i call it my personal elevator i see butt down there gone so my personal elevator it's fast it's also pipe type of <laughs> elevator the seat make it stable and safe to travel up and down and if i need to transport something up to my base using my personal lift i can do that there's a small gate here opening i can go in just like that close the gate and we can go up and it's all fine it's fast it's all fine see open the gate go out and here we are next thing is my humble irrigation system it's also kind of manual but i was tired of watering my field with 10 buckets running back and forth to the lake so i've built this like i said it's still kind of manual but i'm planning to make it more automatic but it's really fast a lot faster than buckets and it works just fine for now i use hot rod and its large chest on the back to fill up the water containers here but of course I'm planning to automate it, but I will have to lead vacuum pipes all the way to the lake. Keep that in mind. All right, let me show you around the base. I have a new friend, Cookbot. It cooks for me, basically. It can cook pizza burger or veggie burger, which is easier to make because only veggies are required here we must have uh, meat and milk. This is to revive fallen friends. I have no friends, so I don't need it. Uh, so I cook basically only veggie burgers. And burgers not only satisfy fully my hunger and thirst, but also fully heal. So that's great. I will need more cookbots because one can only produce one veggie burger at a time and I don't want to wait 13 seconds and then another one another one refrigerators colored tomatoes you know red beets 
uh, potatoes, carrots and other things to store. Here we have colored small chests, again green ones for circuit boards for example. This is, uh, what is it, bee wax, <laughs> embers and pipes and other things. Here we have extra seeds which I use to craft fertilizers. This is all the stuff I've crafted to test things out. For example, I've upgraded fully gas engine and electric engine just to see how they work. Because you know, this is the first time I play Scrap Mechanic. I've never played creative mode or challenges or anything like that. So I don't know how things work. This is all the junk from abandoned marketplaces scattered around the map. Speaking of all the junk from the marketplaces, this is my trophy roof, I guess. And yeah, all the stuff I've got from the marketplaces from scavenging or salvaging, actually scavenging. This is a manual elevator, emergency elevator. When cargo and personal elevator fail, I can still go up using my personal lift. Here's another testing wall, bench, whatever, uh, land gear. These are jet engines for my power boat, which I will talk about in a minute. Funny thing happened to me, you know, I had to sectionalize the base and that's S-E-C-T-I-O-N-A-L-I-Z-E, -E, sectionalize, don't get weird ideas. All that used to be like one block, all connected. This platform leading to the, to the other roof was connected here, here, this platform was connected to this one and it was all one. But then, strangely, one day I got like 8 frames per second and entire base, entire build here just jumped out of the roof, like out of its foundations, which is the roof. And it all collapsed. I took only one screenshot of that. And I don't know what happened. It was some kind of weird bug, glitch, I don't know. I had to rebuild everything from scratch again. And this time I used those scrap walls from abandoned marketplaces to save wood and it saved me a lot of wood. And I built everything as, you know, like sections, elements. So if anything like that happens again, hopefully not, I will just have to rebuild one element. And I have to use controller for this platform uh, because otherwise it glitches inside the roof if I let it loose. The trailer is here. I don't use it, so you can say it's useless. But maybe I will make an episode where I build like different types of trailers. Because I like trailers and I think it's pretty cool and quite original. Quite unusual to have a trailer in Scrap Mechanic. Let's say it's not that typical build, you know, trailer. In scrap mechanic i've installed two mods i don't know if install is the right word because it's more like file editing adding a couple lines but anyway first mod makes changes to daylight cycle so dawn sunrise i get between 3 a.m and 5 a.m normal daylight is between 5 a.m and 8 p.m then sunset between 8 p.m and 10 p.m and night, 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. The day is longer and it just helps me to record because, you know, it was getting dark too fast and I had to wait to record things, to show things. Second mod might be a little controversial. It's craftable component kit and it takes 20 circuit boards to craft it and I set it to 1 minute and 30 seconds to craft one component kit so it's not that easy i get circuit boards from green bots mostly so i still have to destroy 20 green bots to craft one component kit and i get like three to five component kits in one of those haunted houses but for that 100 hours i was farming a lot and i had 
tons and tons of circuit boards so it's a good way to spend all the circuit boards that I don't need and they just pile up very fast especially when you farm and you know defend your farm and get and bots attack and all that overall the rooftop base is small and it's a little buggy like I cannot get that screw out I just put it down one day and it doesn't want to come out this one too so I have an idea to build another base in better place which brings us to the things I plan to build in this and future episodes and it all starts with constant lack of fuel and how time-consuming gathering crude oil is it took me over two hours to fill up four tanks for fuel containers here and I have some here so it was like around 400 units of crude oil and over 100 clams per real-time hour is what I get when it's just you know me water my sledgehammer you know diving swimming and gathering crude oil and clams underwater so to make crude oil farming less time consuming I want to build submarine power boat and I've done some testing I threw my lift car into the water to see if it float it didn't work I tried adding wooden paddles to wheels to make it row but it didn't work I was even throwing myself inside of the glass cube to see if I drown and I drowned and then I discovered bubble wrap block bubble plastic block but it looks like bubble wrap <laughs> and then I discovered buoyancy in the blocks properties so let me show you what I'm thinking let me take one craft pot with me and we go to the lake to test something sit here let's lower the platform this is bubble plastic block this is wood block one this is wood block three and this is scrap wood block so first let's test buoyancy of scrap wood block and wood block one open the gate they both floating in the water but if we install simple driver's saddle on scrap wood block you see let's see wood block one and we can see that scrap wood block weighs two points and the buoyancy is four points wood block one weighs two points also but the buoyancy is six points not good and not good get out now bubble plastic block and wood block three bubble plastic block almost floats on the water uh, wood block is pretty much the same like the two over there but when we install driver's saddle bubble plastic block still is floating and when we install driver's saddle on wood block 3 it's also floating and we can see that bubble plastic block weighs one point the buoyancy is eight points and wood block 3 weighs two points so it's a little heavier than bubble plastic block but the buoyancy is nine points versus eight points for bubble plastic block the conclusion wood block 3 is better to use to build submarine power boat because of bubble plastic block low durability also to craft bubble plastic blocks we need crude oil now wood block 3 requires wood and metal to craft wood block 3 we need metal block 3 and wood block 2 to craft wood block 2 we need metal block 2 and wood block 1 to craft metal block 3 we need metal block 2 so it all dumps down to one thing I will need tons of wood and metal 
and I can get tons of wood and metal from trees and stone nodes. Also stone nodes will give me lots of stone and I need stone to craft glass block and I need glass blocks to craft vacuum pipe to automate my humble irrigation system. And to get tons of wood and metal, I need to build large drilling and cutting machines. And for that, I will need around 16 drills and 10, maybe even 20, maybe even more saw blades. Crafting saw blades and drills is not an option because again, I would need metal blocks, so metal. There is a way though, Gordon Farmer can trade saw blade and drill for four packs of tomatoes and four packs of red beets. We are saved. With my humble irrigation system, getting tomatoes and red beets won't be a problem, but transporting over 200 packs of tomatoes and red beets will require something bigger than a pickup truck. And this is why in this episode, we are going to build self expanding truck self-expanding because i want it to fit in the cargo elevator and to drive it normally when it's empty but when the truck is expanded i wanted to carry 20 maybe more packed veggies or fruits or both okay tldr to get more crude oil and clams fast i want to build submarine power boat to build submarine power boat i need tons of wood block 3. I need tons of wood block 3 because it has best durability buoyancy ratio and to get tons of wood block 3 I will need massive amounts of wood and metal. To get massive amounts of wood and metal I will need drills and saw blades and to get drills and saw blades I need to transport over 200 packs of tomatoes and red beets and to do it relatively fast I'm going to build self-expanding truck in this episode that was a long f***ing intro wasn't it all right let's get to work every construction starts with a template but first i will need two more packs like this so let's get them do you see that rip hey bot it left something here all right here we are Tomatoes, you say. Alright. We got it. Now, how to transport it, right? Ah, it's not bad. At least the car won't flip. No problem for the cargo elevator. Okay, packs are here. Now, template. You know, it's not like I was sitting and doing nothing for that 100 hours. I was farming a lot. So, I got some stuff, alright? But now I will use it and I need more, a lot more. I think I will use extruded metal blocks to build self-expanding truck. It's fairly durable, fairly light, and it looks cool. Okay, so one pack is seven by seven, if I remember well. This is why I need those. Yes, it's seven by seven. So two packs on the back, then expanding module whatever and again two three four five six seven out of blocks give me more all right let's see if it fits one two three four five six seven even all right and all right so let's paint so these are places for packs. Here's where the truck will be expanding. And I have an idea. It could also expand here. I want to make it look proportional. We only have... No, no, don't go down. Open. We don't have bigger wheels. So, you know, I don't want the truck to look like flatbed on tiny wheels even though they're quite big 
So we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 times 2, because we can stack the packs. So 26. Nice. And this is where the cabin will be. I think it's too small, you know. All right, so I think we have the template. Now, let's build the truck. Ooh, frame drop. No hydraulics this time. Only six suspension parts, six wheels, large wheels, and lots of pipes. Because I like pipes in Scrap Mechanic. My butt friends, I will need tons of bearings. I will need a lot of bearings, please. By the way, did you know that you don't have to drag and drop? You can use shift and left click, or you can use shift and right click to transfer single units. I didn't know about that. I found out recently. More pipes, please. Thank you. I need stairs. Wait, wait, wait. I need to make it smaller. If it expands like this, then it's two more packs, actually four, because it's stacked. So no, it will be too long. The, the truck will be too long. Let's see. One wheel will be here. One here. And here. It looks okay, right? Yeah, I think so. It's not that big. But two platforms here for four stacks, two platforms here. So it's going to be super long and here and this will be also, oh my goodness, no, I, I don't know about that. Well, let's call it a prototype and the final product in the next episode. No, seriously. So. I'm thinking of something like this. It's expanding and it's exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks long. Now I just have to do something to be able to attach packs here. So blocks and pipes, I don't know, I will do something. And it will work. It's actually easy to do. Wait, okay. Now. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Expanding. Here it is. Another one. Here. Damn it, it looks like flatbed, but it works. So now I just have to make a copy of this mechanism here, here and here. So this is exactly what I was thinking. The image I had in my head when I said self-expanding truck. Wheels are just connected with bearings, so it's just to make the car, make the truck roll. Here it is, self-expanding bed works great and we can drive up fold it and you can see it fits just fine so now the suspension which will be rather simple construction because i don't want to make the truck low rider actually i want to make it more like high rider so i can crawl underneath however i want the truck to be able to take very tight turns and also uh, I'm thinking of adding wings to carry extra packs maybe only here but you know something like uh, it's gonna be like I don't know opening here to the side here to the left and yeah, maybe something like that. And you can see that I started to give some shape to the truck. It's proportional. It's not too wide. Maybe No, not really. It's not too wide and it's not 
you know it would be better if we had bigger wheels to install but maybe mods so yes i have like basic idea of how the truck will look like and uh, let me get to the suspension now done suspension done like i said nothing too fancy it's actually very basic so test drive let's go let's take the truck for a spin Ooh, what a lag over a little too soft and yeah well the truck still looks like flatbed but we'll get to that i promise upgraded the engine no fuel tanks but i have extra fuel in my inventory very stable a little too slow i would say let's expand it great I used pipes because they spring a little, you know, they have this little flex and this is what I, this is what I wanted and yeah, here, oh, I forgot to pack something, you know what, let's risk a little more speed, yeah, it's twitching, so it's not stable anymore, I mean, you know, the friction or whatever is going on yeah the wheels are acting up a bit too fast for the engine or whatever bombs away missed bombs away Ooh! oh my goodness frame drop why is it happening i don't know about that 24 packs it feels really heavy now really and wheels are acting up because the the steering system i've made is funky and yes i want the suspension to be higher which will make the truck bed uh, low i hit something i want the suspension to be lower to make the truck bed higher you know watch this I'm gonna install some spikes. What was that? I'm gonna install some spikes in the front. You no, know, Mad Max style. The cabin shrinked, I just noticed. Wow, so I have an idea. I will make it like two floors, two story cabin. Oh, and I said that I want the truck to take tight turns, didn't I? I make the truck higher now I can crawl under like I said I want to do but still it does look quite uh, like it was sitting low right now the tight turns mechanism let's get to that it's gonna be something weird I wanted to say crazy but not really I did mention Mad Max so I thought why not making Mad Max style fenders here's the wing I was talking about for extra pack it will be opening like this and i can actually make only two wings in the middle section because there is no space for more then the truck on the back will have a ramp and a little twist i was talking about so the truck can take tight turns here it is <laughs> it's ridiculous as always i'm not sure how it's gonna work we'll see now i have to clean this place up here and put it all in the cabin because it's quite a mess one last thing to show why frame drops like that come on get in close the gate look i mean I want to say it barely fits, but it's kind of like squeezed between the gates, so yeah, but it fits still. So like I said, I'm gonna clean the truck, tuck all the controllers, logic gates, driver's seat inside the cabin, build the body of the truck, and I will show you the final product, self-expanding truck. Days of farming, hours of crafting, constant struggle, changing concepts i wanted to sound dramatic like in those car building shows 
<laughs> but here it is self-expanding truck built to transport up to 24 packs of fruits or veggies or both combined this is survival mode things machines vehicles have to be practical but no one said we cannot make it look good right i started with simple concept make the truck bed self-expanding to carry more when needed and it took me a while but uh, we've got it it works i will show you in a minute i don't know why it's twitching like that by the way now the look i wanted to make it look heavy industrial rusty dark mad max style too but then i thought to myself this truck will be transporting fruits and veggies fruits and veggies are sun rain soil make it brighter so this is why i went with sunflower yellow a bit of golden finishes and i didn't forget about that heavy industrial feeling so gunmetal black rims and navy blue uh, fenders i also wanted the truck to look a bit futuristic because this world scrap mechanic world is traditionally futuristic you know we got farmers but then we got farming bots going rogue and i think the truck looks pretty darn <laughs> good so let me show you around first the cabin and the only switch that is outside it opens like this when i was constructing it i was thinking tars in interstellar you know the robot i wanted to keep the shapes and forms as irregular as possible here's the engine section controllers fuel tank usual stuff navy blue all the switches are inside let's close it the grill you know some random you could say pipes we can of course go in fast by clicking here and we are inside but sitting out without opening the cabin is just yeah you cannot you just you cannot go out you have to open it and we can drive like this which is quite cool of course this is self-expanding truck so it expands nicely and it still looks consistent other than that the wings i call them and they can carry four additional packs of fruits or veggies or both and tailgate opens but i have to adjust it so basically this is the truck to transport fruits and veggies but no one said that i cannot transport trapped farmers or even cars you know machines here i think it would work we will check it for sure then headlights tail lights and promised little twist i said that the truck will be able to take really tight turns here it is thanks to this little mechanism here little wheels here the truck can go beyond taking tight turns it can actually spin both ways so not only it can take tight turns but it can beyond drift <laughs> it's so cool the only downside of this truck is that it doesn't fit the my cargo elevator but i will just make the cargo elevator bigger and problem solved test drive even though it's a little late we can still test drive it you can hear the engine sound i actually took a couple days to build it to be honest not want to sound dramatic or anything but yeah it took me a while it might be a little too fast because the game is dropping frames the truck is actually quite huge I cannot see anything. Let's check first person view. Ooh, this is new experience. 
This is quite cool. I have no idea why I'm getting 20 frames per second. Maybe it's a little too fast. Everything is shaky here. <laughs> Where I'm going, no one knows. And GTA. No chances. Let's make it a little slower and see what happens. Immersive driving at night. Yes, the faster it drives, the more frames it drops. And GTA. You could say uh, install large chest here and vacuum pump so you can uh, do both, you know, send fruits or veggies to the packaging station and then pack it because, you know, one car use. No, I will use two cars for this hot rod to shoot fruits or veggies. And while it's shooting, I will be loading packs on the self-expanding truck. Now let's go back to the base and actually test the truck fully loaded. See, the truck is slower now, but the frame drop is not... Never mind. It's just this place is bugged or what? But yeah, it drives better now. GTA, third time. Poor bot. I was building the self-expanding truck, but also I was farming meanwhile. So I am prepared. Let's go down a little faster. That was stupid, but okay, we are back. Let's see. Oh, it won't fit. It will not fit. It almost, yes. Well, this, this truck is to transport fruits and veggies, okay? It's just that 11 frames per second. Hey, I'm driving, okay? <laughs> it's not me, it's not my fault, it's the games. You don't know if it works if you don't try. Now I know. It won't work. But you know, if not 10 frames per second, this would be actually super cool. I know, I know, I could weld it, but that's like, no. Hot rod, out. You can do it by yourself. All right, it's time to go back to 60 frames per, oh my goodness. It's so much better, wow. I almost got used to it. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm like close to it and I get frame drops. Maybe it's m my construction, but I was trying very hard to make, you know, moving parts not to collide. This game has real collision problems. Too much physics. <laughs> All right. Let's pack it up. So first, expanding the truck and now packing everything up. I think I need to upgrade the suspension. Now it's better, but still, yeah, now it's better. Wow, <laughs> I don't see anything. Yeah, the gate was colliding. All right, it's all good though. And it's almost dark. And I'm still three packs short. I still have 10 component kits. It's really heavy stuff. Yeah. All right, let's go back to the base because I forgot I have three packs left in the base. And I will see you in the morning. And the last one, you can already feel, oh my goodness, this is, I told you, this game is not ready for me. This is just too much. Oh my goodness, 14, 17 frames per second. Oh, guards, look. 
Dude, I hit you like five times now. And you're still standing. But admit, the truck looks awesome. I mean, seriously. And it's very, very stable. Maybe I just need to upgrade the suspension even more. Because I'm out of everything. I'm broke. I have no circuit boards. I have no component kits. I have no metal blocks. Yeah, you can see the suspension is just struggling so much. Bigger wheels, I'm telling you. Bigger lights would be nice too. And bigger bearings would be awesome. And yes, I do have... Like, maybe I've built it wrong. You know, like something is colliding. Some, like, blocks are just not the way they should be. But then again... I don't know. Well, I'm a little disappointed with that frame drop, but I'm really, really happy about my truck. It's what I wanted. It's just great. Okay, let's go back to 60 frames per second. But yeah, I, you know, in all fairness, I will look for a way to optimize it. You know, maybe something's colliding and, and yeah, well, I can make it better, I guess. But also, I'm going to upgrade the suspension for sure. Maybe if not that expanding mechanism. But this is the whole point of this construction. Now GLaDOS is struggling. Okay. 60 frames per second is back. So, this is self-expanding truck, Sunflower, Mad Max. I don't know, style. I really, really like it. It looks and drives super cool. Now it's too fast when empty. We need gears. In the next episode, I would like to build Ultimate Drill Sports Car. Ultimate because it will pack 16 drills. And Sports Car, you will see. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next episode or in other videos on the channel. Thank you very much for all the subscriptions and thumbs up. And that would be it for now. Bye.